Hello everyone, happy Saturday. So today's video, we're gonna switch it up. I know we usually do PR unboxings and honestly, during this time, I usually would be doing February favorites, but I have a ginormous, like ginormous bag here of empties that I desperately need to get rid of. So we need to do this video. This is basically gonna be a fast speed review of a bunch of products that I've been using over the last few months. And I'm gonna give you guys quick reviews on if I liked them, why I liked them, why I didn't like them, all that fun stuff. Everything that I talk about in this video will be linked down below. If there's any codes to any of these products, it will be right next to the product link as well. So this is gonna be a long one. So let's go ahead and get into it. Give the video a thumbs up and let's go through my trash. All right, so first up, we have Tanner here, you guys. So I love to self tan. So I've tried so many different kinds out there. Honestly, my favorite kind hands down is the Bondi Sands Arrow. It's their aerated self tanning foam ultra dark. This is the one to get. It goes on so beautifully. It's got that green undertone to it. So if you've got more warm tones in your skin, it's going to really counteract that and it's not going to look orange on you. It also lasts the longest and it goes off evenly too. So I love that. And I always like kind of reapply on top of it and it goes, it just is perfect. It's awesome. It's the best hand I've ever tried. I legit have six of them here that I have used up. They are hands down the best tanner. If you can, get your hands on these. I think they usually have sales on these where you buy one and get one 50% off. So I usually buy them in bulk. I actually need to make an order here very soon, but I love it. I do it at night. The trick is, is what I do at night is I put this on and I wear a long sleeve shirt and a long and like pants and that's what I sleep in. So that way it doesn't get all over my sheets and then I rinse it off in the morning and I'm good to go for days. So yeah, my go-to tanner is a must have. Okay, so talking about tanner, let's talk about tanning mitts right here. I have some of these, like a bunch from St. Marie's. These are my least favorite mitts and a big reason is this thing right here, as you can see, it like just rips open. I always, it just always seeps through. These are not good. I'm just using them up to use them up so I don't just have hold on to the products. My favorite mitts are from Bondi Sands or Coco and Eve, but they're basically mitts like this, where they have this like kind of like elastic key part right here. So it goes down a little bit further. So when you're doing your tanner, you don't accidentally get it on your wrist and they're nice and thick. So you can't, they're not gonna seep through either. So that's why I really like them. And I like the fact that it has this thumb part right here. So I can really like go over my arm and do it well. So yeah, these are my favorite mitts. I actually, I don't have a code for Bondi Sands, which would be awesome if I could get one, but I have one for Coco and Eve. So I will link that down below for you guys. Next up, getting through a hair product. So this is by far one of my favorite dry shampoos. I would say this is number one. I'm actually going to be ordering another one. I have a smaller version that I ordered for travel size that I literally, I think I'm just now running out of, but this is my favorite dry shampoo. It's from Redken. You can get this really big guy, which I'm gonna go get. It took me a long time to go through him, which was great, but this stuff is awesome because it doesn't make your hair feel like you got all that gunk in it and it just dries up the oils. It's, I just like it that I don't feel like I get product buildup with it. So I, and it doesn't make my hair stiff or anything like that either. Like it doesn't, it just makes it feel clean after I use it. That's why this one is definitely number one for me. All right, so if you watch TikTok, get ready with me's and stuff, a lot of you guys have seen this mouthwash. This is from TheraBreath. It's the dentist formulated healthy smile or oil rinse and sparkle mint. Honestly, I didn't like this stuff. I used it all up. I wanted to get it done with. Um, I didn't really feel like it did a whole lot for me. The best one is the Crest one that I use and it's like for gums and stuff or it's called like, forgot what it's called, but I'll link it down below. And this that is the best mouthwash to get is from like Crest. So I would recommend that one. This one, don't fall on the hype. Like literally, literally, I did not notice a difference with this. It just was, I was just ready to just get done with it. Okay, so next up I have some facial wipes from Billy. My mom gave me these because she gets a subscription for them. And these were, these were nice. I mean, honestly, I would actually prefer the Costco ones. The Costco makeup remover wipes are my favorite hands down. These ones were great, but I felt like I kind of dried out my skin a little bit, but it still got the job done. So I just, I was just like, oh, I'll just use them. 
Um, but if it came down to a facial wipe, I would definitely recommend the Kirkland brand. Those ones I think are the best. Back to Tanner. So this one is from Bondi Sands. Bondi Sands is literally one of my favorite tanning brands. This is their self tan eraser. This stuff is so freaking good. If I notice that I really need to exfoliate before I self tan or anything like that, I will go in with this stuff in the exfoliator and it removes your tanner like that. Like you don't have to scrub or anything. Or if I notice that I do a botched tanning job like on my ankles or my feet or my hands, this stuff will take it right off. It is amazing. You need to have this on deck at all times just in case if you actually may have a fake tanning faux pas or if you need to exfoliate and like get ready for your next self tanning session. But the stuff is amazing. Out of all the self tan erasers I've tried, this one hands down is the best. All right, so this one is actually for the girls here. So mamas, I think you guys will like this one. I already reordered it. Like it literally just came in today and I was so happy. This is from Cantu. It's their Shea Butter Moisture Twist and Lock. It's for natural curls, coils, and waves. It controls frizz for, smooth, for a silky smooth hold. So it's a styling gel and it's a big tub for super cheap. I think it's like $6. It took me forever to get through. But what I do with this is I actually take like a dollop and I put it through the girl's hair. And when I'm doing their ponytails, their pigtails, any type of styling with their hair, I use this and the stuff is so good. It helps me slick it back. But what I love about it is that when I take it out at the end of the day, their hair does not feel like it has product in it. It actually feels like it's hydrated. Like it's really, really soft and it also smells really good. It smells really, really good. But their hair feels super, super soft and it feels like it hydrates the hair and like helps it get healthier on top of it. It also makes braiding a lot easier. So you'll just like coat it through their hair. So like, you know how if their hair, kids hair are so fine and they're really hard to like braid, like, you know, if you're doing like French braids or little braids or anything like that, or if they get the little flyaways, this helps takes all of that away. But again, like it makes it just really easy for styling. But my favorite part of it is that it does not make their hair crunchy or feel like they have product in it at the end of the day. Like their hair actually feels like it was also, I don't know, being hydrated and conditioned throughout the day. So this is definitely a big must have. I get it on Amazon. I think again, it's like six bucks for this whole tube. It's awesome. So this is definitely a must have. All right, so next up I have the All Kinds Whipped Shower Foam. This is basically a body wash. Honestly, I did not like this for body wash at all. I much prefer my Method or my Naturium one, um, but I used it for the girls and the girls love it because they it reminds them of whipped cream. So they just play with it and they have fun with it. And that's really what I just came down to using these for because they enjoy it, but I much prefer, prefer the other body washes. So it's fun for the kids, but I just don't think it's like that great. So eh. this is a body wash that I love from Naturium. I believe I have a code with them. I think I do. If I do, it will be down below with the link. Um, it's the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. This stuff is great. I love the packaging of it with the pump. It makes it so easy to put it on my loofah and it really it really lathers up and it feels really refreshing when you use it. So this is definitely one of my favorite body washes. It makes you feel really clean and it makes your skin feel really soft. All right, so next up from Tatcha, I have their Forest Awakening Hinoki Body Wash. This had a, like a little bit of a scrub to it. Yeah, a soft exfoliating cleanser. It has like a scrub to it. Uh, honestly, this is a pass for me. I don't think it's worth it. I think there's kind of maybe better scrubs out there. I didn't really, I wasn't really excited about it and I was just ready to use it up. Next up, we have some products from Drunk Elephant here. So this is from the Chris McMillan line. It's their moisturizing shampoo, their conditioner, and their body cleanser. Honestly, I was just done with these. The packaging is what made me not enjoy these. I felt like it was so hard to get the product out of it. Like you have to squeeze really hard, but the packaging makes it hard to squeeze. And it was just really hard for me to get the product out and I just did not like it. So I, the product itself like was okay, but I just really hated the packaging. The packaging was just not for me. I think if they changed the packaging, it would be a better experience. Um, but that's where I'm at a hard no with these is 
just because of how hard it was to get it out, especially if your hands are slippery and you're in the shower. I could not squeeze it out. It just was a struggle bus for me. All right, so next up I have the Bondi Boost Thickening Therapy Conditioner. I love this. I did a campaign for them back in the day. I think I've done two campaigns with them, but I love their products. I think they're awesome. They make your hair feel great. And like, yeah, they're really, really good. So I used up the conditioner. I'm almost done with the shampoo, but I love these. I love the dispenser on them. I think they're great, great products. Definitely check them out. I really enjoyed this purple shampoo. This is from DP Hue. It's a cool blonde shampoo. Neutralizes the yellow tones and brassiness. I really enjoyed this one. This one I, I really liked. And what I do with this is I actually dilute it with another shampoo. So that way it's not so potent. But I think this one really did do a great job. All right, so I got a couple Redken here. I love Redken. We have their Extreme Length Shampoo. I love it. I have the big size in my shower right now. This one's one of my favorites. I also really like their acidic bonding concentrate conditioner. I think this is great. I've used up their shampoo, their conditioner multiple times. I think these ones, I, Redken, you just can't go wrong. Redken, I really like. Okay, so next up, I have another purple shampoo in here. And this one's from Bumble and Bumble. It's their blonde shampoo. This is also another really, really good blonde shampoo. I think this one actually maybe worked better than the DP Hue one did. The DP Hue one worked and that was great, but this one I think I actually enjoyed even more. I'm really sad that I'm out of it, but this one was a good one. All right, so next up I have a Briogeo Curl Charisma Curl Defining Conditioner. This is just okay. I don't know what it is about Briogeo, but I feel like their products, I don't know. I just don't feel like they do a whole lot for my hair. So, I just kind of like, eh, it's all right. Like it's not something I would repurchase. I was just not that excited about it and I just didn't really notice much of a difference and I felt like my hair didn't really get healthier with it, you know? Like I just felt like it wasn't enough. It wasn't what my hair needed. So that was just a eh for me. But, um, oh, I really liked this conditioner from Kerastase though. I love this line, the Curl Manifesto line. Like honestly, I just love Kerastase. I notice a big difference in my hair with Kerastase and Redken, like those are some of my favorites. So I really, really enjoyed that one. This was also a really good one, the R & Co Bel Air Smoothing Conditioner. This one was another one that I liked and enjoyed. Um, it really made your hair very, very soft, but sometimes like the smoothing conditioners are really hard to use because they make your hair so soft that it won't hold a curl or that's where I get into the problem of. If I use like a really smoothing conditioner, my hair will not want to hold my curl when I have to like blow dry it and like try to style it. It just will just fall on me. So that's one thing that really sucks about them. But I think it's great for the kids hair because it makes them really soft. Next up were actually ones for the kids products that I got. These have the cutest packaging. They're from Bubsy. This is the Creamy Coconut Oil Hair Conditioner and the Creamy Coconut Oil Shampoo and Wash. I love the packaging. These are super cute, but the products themselves were not my fave. The reason why is I felt like I could never get the product out of their hair. I felt like it left that residue in there and I could not fully get it out and like fully clean the hair. Like it just attached on. So that's why I didn't really like it, was that it always made their hair feel like they still have product in it and I felt like I can never get it out. So that's why these are just no for me. Okay, so next up I got the Function of Beauty Pro. This is for wavy hair, conditioner hair mask. I actually did not use this one on me. I used it on the girls and I loved it, especially Riley's hair. Riley's hair is so thick and long. I just cut three inches off of it and it's still long. So I have to use really good products for there. Like it's mainly Riley's, Kinsley doesn't have as much hair yet, but Riley's got a ton and I have to use good products on her hair. Otherwise it's a mess. I really, really like this for her hair. It worked out great and it just really helped soften it and just relax it and take out that frizz. It was just really good. Just, yeah, this was a great product for her hair. Again, it was the Function of Beauty Pro Weight for Wavy Hair. It's a recovery conditioning mask. It just worked great. Okay, so a couple more body products before we get into makeup. I got this Molten Brown London Lily and Magnolia Blossom Bath and Shower Gel. My mom gave this to us and oh my God, this stuff was so nice. I think we also have, is it like a hand cream or a hand soap or something from them too? That's really good, but Oh my goodness, this was really nice. It smelled great, I love this. I was really sad when we ran out of that. Now going into a body butter, the Tatcha Indigo Soothing Body Butter. 
love this stuff too. A big thing in there. I love putting body butter on. I usually do it after I get out of the shower. Oh, it just feels so good and help hydrate my skin because my skin is so dry here in San Diego. Just not fun but the Tatcha Body Butter is awesome. Definitely check this one out. All right, so we're gonna get into some skincare and some makeup, which is super exciting. So let's go ahead and get into skincare. Let's go right into this baby right here. This is the Dermalogica Stabilizing Repair Cream. I loved this moisturizer. It was so good. I love, woo, I love the pump of it. It felt great on my skin. It really balanced it out. Went great underneath makeup. This stuff was awesome. It's definitely one that I would love to have back in my routine. I just have so many moisturizers that I'm constantly trying, so I'm not going to go repurchase it right away, but I would like to have it back in my routine. It's actually a really, really good moisturizer. So if you're looking for one, definitely check this one out from Dermalogica. Again, it's the Stabilizing Repair Cream. It's a really, really good one. It just balances out everything. Oh, another one of my faves here, you guys. This is like one of my top favorite moisturizers. This is the Tatcha the Silk Cream. If you have dry skin, you need this in your life. It is so refreshing. It balances your skin out. I love this one for the nighttime. Like the Dermalogica one is a perfect daytime one for me. This one is like my go-to nighttime because I need something thick and just moisturizing and hydrating for my skin at night. And I miss this one because it literally makes your skin feel like silk in the morning. It is so, so good. I love it. I've been through a few of these already. They're my, it's my favorite nighttime moisturizer. Next up from Drunk Elephant, I used up a whole A Shaba Complex Eye Serum. This stuff I really enjoyed. It has a 0.1% retinol, 3% caffeine. I used it morning and night. It was great. I really, really enjoyed it. And I really love their packaging too. They have like the best packaging. But yeah, this one is definitely one to try out if you're looking for a new eye cream. I forgot about this baby right here. So this looks interesting, right? But it's actually a refill pod to the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Moisturizer. So good. I really love this one for during the day as well. It goes great underneath makeup. I love how it's refillable. It's definitely a must have. It's so good. Definitely try this one out, you guys. It's, yeah, I forgot how much I love this one too. Uh, next up, I used the Naturium Fermented Camellia Creamy Cleansing Oil. This was okay. I don't like the packaging of it. It was all right. I love more of the cleansing oils with the pumps. I feel like at those I can disperse easily. They just melt away my makeup a lot better. This was just, eh, it was just all right. But I used it up and yeah, it was just, eh. <laughs> all right, so I've got two primers here. The first primer is the Cali Ray So Blown Clean Blurring Primer. I really love this. This was a great one. If you're looking for a new primer, definitely check out Cali Ray. I wanna try out more products from them, to be honest. I think they have really cute packaging, but I feel like their primer did a great job at holding on my makeup, blurring out my pores. I think it did awesome. So I really enjoyed this one. The other blurring primer that I love, that I'm honestly almost out of a second one now, is the Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I think these ones are great. I really focus this one on the T-zone area, but I really enjoy these ones. I use this a ton. I think also because I get a lot in PR too from them, so I'm always stocked up. So I'm always using it, but I feel like it does a really good job underneath my makeup and to blur out those pores. This stuff is so bomb right here. The Exfoliate Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. If you want a product that you are going to see immediate results from, it's this baby right here. You need this. This is a holy grail for so many people for a reason. And it's because you see immediate results. It's amazing. It's a gentle exfoliator that you can use on your skin every single day. And it makes your skin feel baby smooth. It gets rid of that texture, all those little bumps and everything. This helps get rid of those. It really, really does. And it's awesome. And you notice a difference when it's not in your routine. So definitely check this one out if you got a little bit of texture to your skin. This one is so depressing because I loved this foundation stick from YSL. They discontinued it. It's the Fonde Taint Stick Stick Foundation in B50 Honey. It's all gone. So sad. But I loved this foundation stick. It glided on. It had like a perfect amount of coverage. Like it was light, but it still covered. It felt thin on the skin and it set really well throughout the day. It was just like a really, really good foundation and they had to go and discontinue it, which is such a bummer. I would have bought a ton of these, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. Okay, so next up, let's talk about some of my other favorite foundations that 
are still available. So these are from Chantecaille, you guys. And oh my God, I love this foundation. So right now I'm actually wearing this one. This is the Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation in the shade Nude. I'm wearing Nude right now. When my self-tan starts to fade, I go into Nude. When it's fresh, it's sand. And then when it's done, it's vanilla. But this one is so good. It's like a huge pot. So you get a lot of product in there. And it just literally makes your skin look so healthy, so youthful. It looks like second skin, but gives you a really, really pretty glow to it. And it looks stunning on everyone's skin. Like I've got, I learned this one from my mom and I noticed it. I was like, mom, what are you wearing on your skin? I go, the foundation looks so good. She's like, I'm wearing this one, the, the gel foundation. I'm like, oh my God, it looks so good. And then I got Ross's sister on it and I was, I told her all about it. And then when I saw her, I was like, what are you wearing on your skin? She's like, oh, I'm wearing that foundation you told me to get. And I was like, oh my God, I should have just known. I go, it makes your skin look so good. And I love it. I use this one all the time. Another one that I use is the Future Skin Cushion. It's this guy right here from Chantecaille. So these are two different kinds. This one's great because it's gonna last a lot longer for you and it gives you a little bit more coverage. I like this one because it's a little bit lighter on my skin for like when I'm doing pickleball or something like that. And it just kind of also blurs out your pores too. Like it just creates a very flawless finish. And this, that's what I noticed with this guy. But the shade that I use also is shade Nude. It also, when you buy it, you get two compacts in one. So I know it looks pricey, but you actually get to you get this one inside of it and then another one as a backup inside the box so you're getting like two foundations in it i use a flat top kabuki i don't use the sponge that comes with it i just use a flat top kabuki and i just stipple it on the skin and it works out great but again i use nude when my self tan is wearing off and then when i'm newly self tan i use the shade wheat because it's darker and then i use vanilla when it's gone but I love these, so good. I highly recommend them, especially if you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. This will work for you. It works for all skin types, but I think it looks so beautiful on more mature skin because it's so hard to find a foundation that's gonna sit on top of any wrinkles or anything that you may have because it doesn't settle in them. And it just, because a lot of times like you're dealing with, when you're dealing with mature skin, you're dealing with dry skin. And these sit really, really well on dry skin. They still work if you're oily or if you're combination, you just have to change up. You gotta make sure you set it. You gotta do a good primer to it, but really, really good for mature skin. So definitely check these out. And then these are my favorite concealers. I've already got backups of them that I love. It is the shade Creme and Oat from Hourglass. I love these concealers. They have such great coverage. It's hydrating underneath the eyes. It doesn't crease on me and it's beautiful. So these are hands down my fave. So I love them. Hourglass, definitely. Oh, I also have a code with them. It's Madison 10. That one I remember off the top of my head, but you can get 10% off on hourglass.com if you use my code. Okay, so next up, I use a whole thing of Laura Mercier setting powder. I love this stuff. This stuff is so good. I've been through so many of these. I've been using this since 2012. Like I don't really have much to say. It's just a tried and true, amazing setting powder. It blurs out your skin. I think it's also really good if you have acne because with with what this does is it really blurs it and mattifies it and I feel like it takes away the attention from any bumps or texture you have on your skin. So if you've got acne or texture and stuff, I would definitely try out the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I feel like it really diffuses that. And my favorite lip mask from Tatcha. I've got so many of these. I love these babies. Whenever Tatcha hits me up and I'm like, like, do you need a restock? I'm like, yes, I need a restock of my Kissy Lip Mask. This is like one of my favorite products. This stuff is saving my lips. It is the best during this dry season in San Diego. It is amazing. It makes them look so luscious and it feels so good. God, there's not a better lip, lip mask on the market than the Tatcha Kissy Lip Mask. I'm telling you, you guys, this is a great birthday gift or like gift to give someone Get them this, they will thank you forever. Next up, I have the Killa for early stage and newfound zits, the zit sister, zit sticka. So basically it comes with like a bunch of little packets in here. These are so good. They have like these little, like not needles, but these little pokies. 
on the little sticker and you just put it on a pimple, but you could really feel that it goes into the skin and it just zaps it away. I would have to say that this one is the most effective one that I've tried from all brands. And I really notice a huge difference in the pimple size when I use this at night. So this is definitely a good one to get. So again, Killa Zit Sticka. And I think these ones are really affordable too. So check these out. Okay, so next up I have the Sigma Tint and Tame Brow Gel. This is the clear one. I love this brow gel. Sigma has great brow products. I just don't feel like they get enough recognition for them. I love the brow powder. I like it way better than Anastasia's. I love their brow gel. It doesn't leave them crusty or anything like that. So this is a good, like just check out their brow products. If you guys have to do your brows and stuff like I do, definitely check out Sigma's because I think they're really good. Oh, I love these from Jouer. This is the hydrating lip oil. I used, I had this in my bag. I used it all up. So good. This is in the shade Bell. It was this really pretty pink. Could use another one of these in my life but this is a great lip oil to have throughout the day it gave your lips just a really beautiful lusciousness to it hydrated them gave it a pretty color they come in different colors bell is probably one of my favorites but this is definitely a good lip product right here i'm all for the like the moisturizing stuff I, you know i just love it but yeah joy killed it with these all right so last but not least i have another lip balm here i used a ton of lip balms wow but I literally have them everywhere. I have them in my filming room, at my nightstand, in my purse, in my car, in my Lululemon backpack. They are everywhere. But this is the Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm in Clear. They have different colors too. I think I have a code with them. It'll be down below. But this one was also a great one. I really liked the dispenser on this one. That was great. It just felt really good on your lips. Dispersed the product nicely. And I like the clear just because I love to put this on top of like a lipstick or a lip liner or just bare. But um, I used it all up and I really enjoyed it. So there's another lip product for you. All right. So that is everything in my empties. We did this pretty quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And everything that I talked about is linked down below. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.